Hi there, Titans. Today I am going to be showing you how to configure an interactive Word document in Titan Web. So in this example, I'm going to have my users create contact by filling out these fields here. And then they will go to the next tab and there will be an interactive document that allows them to edit these fields. And then I'm gonna have it update in a push to Salesforce. So these are the fields that they will initially see here. And then these are fields that they won't see on the first tab. I have hidden them, but they will be on the interactive terms and conditions document. I hid these fields by clicking on them, going to the layer list. If you do not have the layer list in view, you can go to view and then click show layer list. And then when you click on these elements, they will be highlighted over here and you can hide per device and show per device right there. So I did that for both the signature field and the agree to terms and conditions field. So now we are ready to configure our template. I'm going to go to our Word document and I'm going to redo all of this with you guys today. Let's restart. So we will start by adding in these interactive fields. The first step is to link the contact ID that we just created on that first tab. So I'm going to click Manage Hidden Fields. And we can see that I have already created one. I'm gonna create one with you right now. So we need to create the contact ID hidden field. It's gonna be dynamic. The object is contact. You need to have a comment, so I'm going to say get contact ID and then the field is contact ID. And we will get this contact ID from the created contact on that first tab. So I'm going to click save and it's hidden so we don't see it here, but it was important for our filter to be able to generate this document. Now it's time to add in our interactive fields. To start, we can click on insert slash edit interactive field. We're going to choose web. Then we can choose our project, select the page that it's on and start entering our fields one by one. Call it first name over here. So the user will see first name and then it will have an interactive field that has pre typed in the first name that they submitted on that first tab. First name, let's do another one for last name. And one for date of birth. Perfect. Let's label them. Awesome. Now I want to add in those other two hidden fields, but I'm going to add it to the bottom of this document so that the user would check that they agree to the terms and conditions and then they will sign it. All right. So again, we'll do insert edit interactive field. Choose the agree to terms and conditions. Click insert. And beside this, I'm going to write out agree to terms and conditions. I'm going to get rid of the um, text inside this input tab. Um, you do not need the text inside. It's just there to help you format your document. All right, and then I'm going to input my signature field. 
Now we absolutely could do the same thing with Titan Sign, but I wanted to show you the capabilities of creating this document using just the word add-in and Titan Web. We can remove that, and just put another letter inside there. All right, and then once our template is completed, we can click on Copy to Publish. We're going to choose Web. Then you can click on the project that you want this template to be uploaded to. If it's a new integration, you can choose New Integration. Otherwise, if you are updating a current template, then you can choose that template that you want to update. You can name your template. All right, and then just check to make sure that the filter is set correctly. We need our parent object ID to equal the record ID. Click Save and Publish. This is now publishing to our Titan Web project, and we can go back to Titan Web. So let's configure our document generation settings. We can go to Tools, Document Generation, and we can see the documents that we have uploaded. This is the one that I just did with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this other one. So that we don't get confused. All right, so we can edit our template by clicking here. You can see the, the um, document that we have uploaded. If you ever need to re-download this template, you can by clicking here. You're able to update the label here. We have to make sure that we map the parent ID back to what the where it would be on the form, which is going to be our parameter, the contact ID. If you want to change this Word document to a PDF, you can by choosing to format it to a PDF, but then you have to choose how you will convert it. I'm going to convert it using Titan 2. Then we can go to interactive and enable this interactive document. Later on, I want to show you what it means to set actions on submit and on close. I'm going to click apply and close. So this submit button is going to um, Create the contact, send the contact ID to a parameter, and then rule two sends us to the second tab, as you can see. Apply, apply, save. And then in the second tab, we are going to open up the interactive document. We need to add it to our tab by going to, we clicked on the plus sign, then go to input, no, go to widget. And then this icon right here is our interactive document. We can resize the document to fit our web project. And then once it's the appropriate size for your website, then you can click on the pink settings wheel. We're going to choose web. We can choose our template and then we can set the action that we just set in the settings. Interactive document. Now let me show you how we can, let's just preview it for now and see how this does. So we're going to create the contact. Then click Submit. Oh, this was supposed to be hidden.
Now we can see that our interactive fields have been uploaded and they are interactive. So Harry could edit his name. However, we need to make sure that we map this so that it is updated in Salesforce. And that's the next thing that I want to show you. Harry then can then come down here to the bottom. He can agree to the terms and conditions and then draw his signature and click confirm. We can move the signature field in just a moment. I want to show you that too. And then we want to also create an action so that when we click submit, it will go to the next tab and refresh the or update the contact in Salesforce. So right now we don't have a um, action set for that button. So let me show you how we would do that. We can go to <clears throat> We'll go to Tools, Document Generation, go to our document, go to Interactive, and then we can set the on submit action. So when they click Submit, we want it to go to the next tab. And we want them to edit the um, Salesforce contact. So we'll make a push, create new. It's going to be the contact object. We'll call this update contact. And the action will be update. We must set a condition that the contact ID equals the contact ID and the parameter, and then we can set the mapping. Last name. First name. date of birth, the agree to, I think that was just called the checkbox. Go with elements. Agree to terms and conditions. Well, actually, I don't have a field for this in Salesforce, so I don't need to map that. And the same with the signature field. But if you had fields for this in Salesforce, then you can do so. Apply. I'm also going to set a action that when they hit submit, that it is uploaded to the contact ID in Salesforce. So this is going to be files, push document. And so the title, I'm going to make it other and call it terms and conditions. Version data, this is the document. So you can type in docgen interactive. And the first published location will be that parameter that uh, contact ID. Perfect. So we can click apply, close. We need to set the action for after it is finished. So this one will be up, update contact, apply. I'm going to add a second rule that the document is pushed to Salesforce. So this one will be the push document. Apply apply, apply, close. I also want to show you how you can edit the fields 
to be different in the um, interactive document. So if you go to settings here, and then go to interactivity, you can scroll down and see doc gen settings. And this will allow you to edit um, what the field looks like. So you can change the font if you'd like. Make it nice and big, 40. I'm gonna make it red. I'll give it an interactive margin on the right. Apply. Let's do it for all of these. Interactivity, doctrine settings, font family, we'll change this one. Make this one also 40. Change the color to blue and then Give it a margin to the left, 100. Date of birth, let's do that one. Interactivity. And this is totally optional for those who may want to change um, how the data looks when it's in the doc generation. This one can be, let's go with like a green. We'll do a top margin, apply. And then for this one, this one really didn't need, need to be moved. So let's go to docs doc, doc gen settings. And then um, there's no font for signature. Let's make it, let's try to make it like a, maybe a pink. See what happens there. Um, bottom, we'll make this a thousand and then we'll make the height 500 and the width 500 and just see how this affects the elements and in the interactive document. So the changes that we've made in this edit is we set a um, action to take place when they hit submit that the contact will be updated and the document will be pushed to the contact record. Um, and also we edit the, these fields a little bit so that they look different in the interactive document. Oh, and we also set it so that it would go to the next tab after we hit submit. Let's go ahead and save and preview this again. And here we have our text fields, and they are quite out of line, but that was just to show you how you can edit and move these fields in Titan Web. And then let's look at our signature down here. Confirm, it did move up a little bit. So I would like to mention that, that it did move up a little bit. <laughs> and then when we click Submit, we're going to update the contact, send it to Seattle's Force, and then go to the next tab. It says thank you. Let's find that push in the integration logs. We can see that our contact was created and the document was uploaded. Let's go check it all out. There's Mary Contrary, and her terms and conditions are attached. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this helped.